Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Yesterday, I was glancing through the headlines on RTE, our national uh, TV station, on their website, and I saw an article about an investment, a pharmaceutical company's investment down in Limerick. A part of the country, the west of the country, where it's always good to see new jobs being created. And I read that a new pharmaceutical plant in Limerick uh, is seeing 400 million euro being invested. It's going to create 500 jobs during the construction of the plant, 300 permanent staff. The company that's setting up the plant already employed 2,300 staff uh, in Cork. Now, this is all part of the biopharma sector. It's an area, of course, that has developed because of Ireland putting a very strong emphasis on education in order to cre create jobs and well-paying jobs in the country. And the biopharma sector employs over 38,000 people directly. And basically, with all the other jobs that are created around that, service jobs and everything else, that probably creates another 38,000 jobs. So there's about 76,000 people in Ireland depending for their livelihood on the biopharma sector. Now, why am I talking about this in a take five? What's this got to do with the gospel? Actually, a whole lot. Because the company that's setting up this new plant in Limerick is Eli Lilly. Now, uh, that's a name I'm familiar with. I've served a number of terms on the Global Executive Council for our denomination, the Church of God. And while I would be attending Executive Council meetings in Tennessee, I, we would often hear discussions about initiatives the denomination was undertaking, very large and expensive initiatives. And I would often hear it mentioned that money was coming from Lilly. And yes, it's from this, these same people, the Eli Lilly Company. You see, Colonel Eli Lilly, was, uh, he, was, uh, uh, he fought in the American Civil War uh, on the Union side. He was captured. He was a prisoner of war. And uh, later on in Indianapolis, he became one of the richest men in the States through pharmaceuticals. Uh, he was encouraged to run for political office, but never did so. Instead, he preferred to give money away and encourage philanthropy. In fact, the Lilly Foundation has become one of the largest philanthropic uh, institutions in the world and it gives away billions and billions of dollars to charitable causes and it gives away billions of dollars into spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ because Colonel Eli Lilly was also a devout Christian a lifelong member of the Episcopalian Church in the United States as a result of his giving and the giving of this company and the foundations that it has set up there are Bible colleges and seminaries all over the United States who have chairs. Basically, uh, that's where there's a professor. The professor's position and salary is funded by the Eli Lilly Foundations. Uh, they run for so many different programs that are investing into churches and uh, gospel outreaches. For example, they have a congregational vitality program which invests money into church organizations that are trying to increase the spiritual depth of church congregations. And that program has given away to various church mo movements over $115 million in the last two years. And I know even within a, the denomination that I belong to, the Church of God, uh, a pastoral care program looking after the health and mental health of pastors, often of small struggling churches, has received over half a million dollars from the Eli Lilly Foundation. And so when I read about this new pharmaceutical plant, often we, you know, often when we hear about pharmaceuticals, it's people going up how dreadful big pharma is, uh, big, big pharmaceuticals is, and how evil it all is, and how they're only interested in money. But I thank God that this pharmaceutical company has actually done a powerful amount of good and has funneled an incredible amount of resources into the organizations that train people to preach the gospel, that care for Christians, that uh, do research, that enables churches and church movements to reach out better with the gospel. And so I'm delighted that there's new jobs being created in the west of Ireland, but I'm delighted that this company is continuing to be a force for good and a course for spreading the gospel. 
Now listen, whatever area you work in, what area area you uh, you are used by the Lord in, you may not be the head of a multi-billion dollar uh, pharmaceutical company, but you know what? We all have resources, and I pray that we would use those resources for good, and use those resources for blessing, and use those resources for expanding the kingdom of God and touching the lives of the needy. May God help us to do that today and use our resources wisely in what we call stewardship. May God bless you today. Join us again next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.